gonna catch a big one for y'all. I promise you, we'll come back with big fish, okay? Yeah, thank you. Woo, y'all heard it right, bro. It's eight o'clock, it's like 7.30 in the morning, bro. I got my friends with me. We're paying 1,500 pesos, like 25, $30. We're taking one of these rinky dinky fishing boats and we're gonna catch one today. Fishing gun, look at this one. First time ever spearfishing for 500 pesos. See if we can catch some fish and cook them. Hey, here we go. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> you got some cigarettes and you're ready to go, buddy. We're about to get the special Filipino Pino experience. But beautiful. We made it to the island, homie. And bro, this is the nicest sand I've been on. We got a huge fish. You've never. <laughs> this is the stove that they're cooking the fish on, bro. Just wood and fire, buddy. This island is really. Do you want rice? The adventure begins, homie. Yeah. <laughs> Cigarettes. Cigarettes. You got your name on your hat, bro. <laughs> it's our first stop. He said there's a lot of those colorful parrot fish right here. We're about to jump in and go spear fishing, Bobby. They just took us out here in the middle of the ocean after the island. Oh, he almost fell in, but look. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta meet the locals and explore and look, bro. Yeah. Oh. What is it? GoPro. No, that man just dropped the GoPro in the water. That's so funny. Yay. <laughs> Riley, do you know how to work that thing? We got like three lessons. You ready? <laughs> Be do, hey, Riley, do not pop me in the water with that, bro. I swear I'm going to be pissed off if you pop me. I think it's dangerous, bro. Yeah, it's dangerous. Damn, you. we're about to be in the water. We're two big fishies that you're not supposed to hit. Here we go. I'm jumping in. Bro, oh, this is awesome. Holy, bro, I've never been out this deep. It feels like you're in a movie. The water is crystal clear. The reefs are so colorful. There's little fishies of all different species running around. You got Riley holding this big spear fishing thing. And I'm just vibing around, swimming, looking at everything like a kid in a candy shop, man. I'm just exploring the coral. Cut my toe. You'll see that later. But it didn't stop me, man. We were out here for so long. There's so many like bright orange, bright blue or black, or it's like just so many different varieties of little fish. We didn't see no big ones. Little angel fish like that one you've seen are so fast and the fish know where we're coming. And when Riley was trying to get them with that thing, they would, he said they would dodge the arrow. Like they were just in the matrix, Neo in the matrix and the, the bullets like did not affect them at all. But their fish, I think they're swimming in a different galaxy time zone as us. Like the like, same thing as flies. Like they're just way faster than humans. I think their time is just sped up, but I could be wrong. We're in their territory in the water. We're not Filipino fishermen professionals. We are gringo beginners that didn't stand a chance to begin with but it was fun trying and acting the part as we did see a lot and we did swim around for over an hour and we did try orange fish i tried so hard to record them but they're so fast there you go bro i seen a little nemo a little like red white red and little all black with a white and gold stripe like there's so many different fishies this one was sleeping on the rock. I tried to creep up and woke him up, but he ended up going back to his little sleeping rock brain thingy, whatever, coral. And eventually our guide got tired of waiting on us and he jumped in and checked it out with us. And uh, he was way faster of a swimmer. I think they're just professionals and we're not. Vlog gets way better. So I'm gonna need y'all to like it, comment and enjoy the rest of the show, man. This is one of my best ones. Cheers, Van Boys to the moon. The ocean makes you so healthy and happy. My skin, my hair, my overall just energy and just experience since this last couple weeks has changed my life. I'm forever grateful for the Philippines and the love and hospitality and the healthiness and just man, this place is amazing. If you want a health retreat, I fully recommend do everything I did here. And mouth is full of salt. We were just out there for over an hour. It felt like 20 minutes, bro. We were literally just swimming around, snorkeling. Riley's over here with this big spear fishing gun. 
Bro, I'm exhausted. Good thing we caught a fish because we can't spear fish for shit, bro. We would have been hungry today, but we bought some from the professionals like the man recording. So God bless real fishermen. Let's go eat, buddy. <laughs> Leave it up to me to be the only one that gets hurt. <laughs> it's okay, right? No. It's not okay. <laughs> Tropical Island adventure continues. We have some fish that's being cooked, some fruit that needs to be eaten. Oh, look at this beach, bro. Look what I found. There's so many of these right here. Oh, head off. Fish. Yay, nice and fresh. Hello, I'm just gonna chill. He's digging it. Hello! 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 Wow. This is a lot of four pound mm. fish. Four mm. pound fish, bunch of fresh fruit. Got the sauce. Oh yeah, we're officially Filipino. Yeah. Ooh, it's spicy. I'm Very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you fish for all your meat and health. Look at all that. That's golly. Fresh off the bone. It's real Rasta man living. Ooh. That's a good one. Yay! Oh, another one! <laughs> we just got four coconuts off the tree. Uh, My climbing skills. I bought the chainsaw. Chainsaw. Okay, whatever works. What? <laughs> That's how you open a coconut. <laughs> two, round two, round two. You get a rock, you put the rock on the ground, you get the soft spot. Oh, no. oh! Watch, <laughs> professional. <laughs> hey, I got it weak. Hey, oh no, I got it weak. I got it. <laughs> you got it. Your turn. What? How am I gonna? <laughs> Straight from the tree. Hmm. My turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want some? <laughs> drink. Really? Your name again? Drink. I'm Ash. Ash, me and my friend Ash. Why did I drink this? This man just picked these out of a tree, bro. A little hole. You need to survive on an island with a man. Oh. This is your man right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting coconut juice all over me. Yeah. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Can I try it? Let's taste it. Oh, really good, eh? It's pretty good. Still a little bit cold, too. I know. You're from Manila, right? She's from Manila. You looking for a travel buddy? Sargao. You want to stay Find in Sargao? <laughs> we should cut the other ones. Is this? We. Is this I ours? got mine open. I ain't need a knife. Yeah. yeah, we'll yes. do it. We're in. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna jump off the bridge. Okay, okay. And joke? we're not gonna die. I think he's talking. He's we're gonna just live. talking. He's not for real. <laughs> for real? Is yeah, yeah. No, for real. For real. It is really for real. Pinky promise. <laughs> Pinky promise. All right, now we're jumping off the bridge today. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, the tide is high enough and we all survive for the next vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done it yet? No? Yes, no? But it's my one on my bucket list shoot. Let's! Alright, watch your feet, Karen. Hey, yeah, don't chop her toes off. Legs. Look at these group of people. They have a fancy, fancy dinner. Oh my goodness. It says Chargal? Shopping. Does that say Chargal? Yeah. In rice? What? They do it differently in the Philippines. Goodness gracious. Fancy, fancy, fancy. That's sick. Look at all these people here for the tour. <laughs> Love you, brother. I think they all paid like the $1,500 each. We literally paid $1,500 total, $500 each, like $8. And all these other people, I don't think that. I'm pretty sure they did the normal. Like, they don't, they're not connected with the fishermen like me. You know what I'm saying? 
grapes. This is sea oh grapes. Oh my goodness. Mm, what else we got? We got shrimp. You want to do? Mm, no, I tried it. You want to try What's this? What's your favorite? My favorite is this one. Shrimp. Mm. Yeah. I don't like the sea grapes. They taste very Are salty. Oh. <laughs> Be so good. You like them? <laughs> <laughs> you hate them. <laughs> you grapes? Don't like it? Oh, hell no. Oh, no sea grapes. Oh, no. It's just salty. Salty? It tastes like fish. I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Booty. Yeah, we eat you know? this. It's like salty. Shrimp, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, it tastes like fish. I can't. Jesus. Heck no. Dude, Ain't pull it out like yeah, this. Like that? Ain't no mouth. way. Mm. Oh, hell no. Is yummy? You like it? Tastes like tastes, it. tastes like seafood. Oh, like seafood. a mussel. You don't want to try it? I don't know. It's all right. Yeah, we'll <laughs> <a beautiful laughs> shell. We'll just shake. You're gonna keep it? Let's let's try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With this? Yeah. yeah. So this is gonna give me diarrhea? Yeah, not sure. Just like not sure. <laughs> a little oh, laxative. No. <laughs> I'm a little constipated <laughs> lately, so <laughs> I'm the Filipino <laughs> carbs, <laughs> carbohydrate. Let's go. Okay, time, let's go. time. Are we let's going go. to jellyfish? Is it a little tight? Oh, but a little, little tight. tight. No, you can, little you can tight now. Count that money, brother. Count that money. Bring. Okay, I bring the coconut with me. Free coconut. Our tour didn't come with that rice and whatever. That's what everybody does. That's what's popular in Chargao to do that tour. We basically did our own version which was way cheaper way more we don't have to go with the group we don't have to wait on anybody we can do what we want when we want and we got here before everybody so now we're leaving before everybody it's high tide now so no jellyfish we have to come early in the morning or late at night right near the fish markets where the fish are, or the jellyfish are look at this background though bro like we're living in a movie right now <laughs> we're the main characters we just finished this coconut we harvest from a tree Free 99, baby. Don't get better than this. I love this country, man. Ah. We nice found a jellyfish. Oh, I love it. Hey, we made it back. It's a bunch of seagrass right here. Not many jellyfish. There's one. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Oh, there's another one right there, buddy. Oh. Right there. Oh yeah, there's, there's the same. During point. high tide, you can see them all. We got to come back in the morning or later. Please. Jump in. And she doesn't sting you. Got the. He doesn't no sting. Head. No head. No head. Yeah. No legs. No head? It's dead. No head. It's Is it dead? Legs only. But. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, put it in the water. Is it already dead? No, it's not dead. It's, it's, uh, it's dead. Right. Oh, the wine. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, jellyfish wow. captain. We've seen the jellies. <laughs> He's not scared. No, we don't, yeah, we don't have to walk, bro. That's what happens when you meet the locals, buddy. We get to get drug in, bro. Oh, yeah, because the people had to walk. Yeah, I was not trying to walk in the grass. I don't like sea grass, bro. I'm not a fan, bro, for some sea reason. Grapes. I don't I just, like sea grapes. I don't like you gotta like sea grapes, sea grass. No, I think green should be over there, not in the water. We've <laughs> got to walk in this now. I thought I was an island boy. You're not. Not no more. He lost his shoe at the go. Oh, that sucks. We got a long ways to go. Oh. These don't sting. Pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. Karen said they don't sting. But I'm not sure. Like if you pick it, pick it up, I don't know. You're the one who said they don't sting. If you don't swim around it, not like, like that, you throw in it. <laughs> Hate it. You happy? Yeah. Time to go to Starbucks? Finally, yes. Riley! He might need new ones, he might need new ones. He need new He's shoes. not finding it. You're not finding them, buddy. The sun is very, very hot today. The UV index has to be like nine out of ten, buddy. Oi! And my toe! Oh! oh. In the ocean, I hope this is free. Hopefully there's no parasites. <laughs> Just a little parasite. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, y'all wanna turn? I wanna go yeah. ahead. Yeah. You're sleepy.
Leave him sleep. He was a kid. Now he's a grown man. Yeah, this morning was a kid right here. He done got a lot older. Oh, he, he awake. Hey, Papa. He sleep. Bucket. The seat is in the sun and it's burning hot. It's Filipino style. What's up, homie? Another day in the neighborhood, buddy. We're about to gamble for 10, 100 pesos a game. Hopefully, I can run it up again. I'm on a seven game win streak here. Team. Oi. Me. You? Yeah. All right. You want me? All right. Yeah. We're playing with the younger kids now. I guess the older people come after. That's the log that they sawed in half yesterday. So many Filipino people were standing around watching this old man saw this log in half. Like their brain isn't brain rot from social media. They can actually sit and appreciate the natural things. Like sawing a log. I could never. It was annoying me just listening. I'm pouring sweat, bro. I'm never playing with eight teenagers. How old are you, bro? How old are you? Bro. 18? I'm 18. Oh, I could tell, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. I think he drank some Red Horse before the game, bro. That was very, very irritating. We had playing against some real hoopers that were 18, 19, like this dude. Real hoopers. <laughs> and I have this little drunk dude on my team that keeps shooting the ball and turning it over. Oh, bro. We won, though. We won, bro. I'm on an eight-game winning streak, bro. That's a lot of pesos. Oh, chicken. Hello. I was really upset about my winning streak, bro. It's been like five days in a row that I've won every single game I played. And I was not going to let some little drunk 18-year-old ruin that. Dude, I had to carry us, bro. I had to carry. We I made it back to the bridge. Yay! I guess we're about to jump off because our friends are telling us to. Oh, watch out. There's people behind us. I'm about to get some food. Oh yeah, the same beat drop. Oh, oh. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna eat first before I throw up in the ocean. Where is the chicken wing? Chicken wings. You can get two chicken wings for 50 pesos, bro. Where's that one at? Chicken wings. Boy, where's chicken wings? You had chicken wings? Chicken wings. Yeah. You Oh, with rice today. 100. Oh, Let's yes, ma'am, with rice. Let's yeah. go. We're here. We're about Are we jumping off the bridge still? I guess so. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not even worried about this damn police, bro. Yeah, Riley, we walked all the way down there because we were scared of police, which I, I knew that wasn't the problem. I'm scared of how deep it is. I'm scared of jumping, bro. I'm, I'm scared he's of not police. Scared. I'm not scared I'm the of the height. I just don't like the police. Okay, go, 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 go. Let's go. Brandon, you're not going to jump at the same time? No, yes. I got to make sure they live, bro. I got to make sure they live. Oh, my gosh, I'm scared. Oh, 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 that's not that bad. You see? You're done. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my gosh. Go. Bad boys to the moon, baby. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Bye. Bruh, the locals down there. They said, don't jump off this side. You could, it's second pole, one, two, right there, bro. Where I did the other day, yeah, right here is no good, bro. I knew it, my gut was telling me. My gut was telling me. But you're okay, I hurt my balls. Yeah, dude, I was totally, I was totally, I felt like I was close to the bottom, but I didn't touch, thank God, bro. And that's how your day in the life goes, bro. We had a crazy ass day today, bro. Waking up at seven in the morning, going on a boat ride, going spear fishing, going snorkeling. And now we're at the bridge. Hello. I can't get a hello. 
<laughs> hey, another day in the Philippines, man. My favorite player, bro, Kyrie Irving. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Dude, it's always a good day here. I got the workout in. It's 10 o'clock in the morning the next day. I went to sleep after that full day. I went to sleep at 8 o'clock, bro. Uh, when's the last time you went to bed at 8? A little Nino kid. Idol. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Hell yeah, we're about to go swimming. It is low tide already. Let's see the Rasta men, bro. They still alive? We haven't seen these dudes in like three days, four days. I hope they're making it all right. Rasta man. Oh, yeah, Rasta man. Yay. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're still alive. Hello. Hello. Hello, Papa. Hello, Blog. Welcome to my guys. Welcome, buddy. Welcome. I'm about to go. So there's a whole group of surfers slash islanders down here at the bottom of the, whatever this is called, the bridge above the ocean. It's low tide right now. I think the, fi the small fish got trapped in a pool over here because of the, whatever this is called, has a little thing underneath it with water. And oh, it's like 25 different people and little kids. And this dude just came with a pot and fire and they have a bunch of little fish. We're about to see what they're doing. They're all talking in their language, just having a good time, laughing, happy. I've seen a bunch of fish though. Let's go check it out. What? Hey, Welcome. Welcome to my vlog. Welcome to my vlog. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Catching fishing. You're catching Dinero. fish? Yeah. One. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You have so many. Oh. Make a blood. Yes. That is so. <laughs> they were right here. <laughs> Island life. How'd you catch the fish? In here? In here? Wow. That's insane. You're just cutting them with scissors? You just throwing them in there? Cutting them with scissors. They got a whole pile of them. Breakfast. Breakfast for the surfers. What are they doing over here? Just cutting up an onion right here. They picked up all the trash off the ocean? Yeah, we picked up. Dude, that was awesome. Good people. I'm alive. Hello, Black. Welcome to my guys. Look what the reef did to my foot. What? You look at my toe. What happened? The reef. The coral. We went spear fishing yesterday. Yeah. Night fishing. So he's cutting them with the scissors. I think they're just letting the ocean clean the meat they're eating. I think the meat that they eat, he's throwing them in there. The trash is going outside of it. <laughs> and I think that's like a big pot of the meat at the bottom of that. Bro, this is Islanders. This is island life, baby. This man's got a tattoo of a wave on his belly button. This island life, buddy. Ooh, more fishies. Look at them over there. Father teaching the son. So wholesome. This is awesome, dude. That's awesome. How do you catch them? With your hands? hands. With, with your hands. With your bare hands. Yeah. Magic hands. <laughs> net. <laughs> with the net. This one. Oi. Oi. Big net. Oh, I see. Oi. Interesting. So many fish, bro. Everybody's eating good today. Look at all these people down here. Everybody's eating good today, Bobby. They will catch it, bro. That's real island life. <laughs> Look who it is. The famous one and only, Joseph. Yes, so, Joseph, you have the tattoos? Your Total, twin brother? Yeah. 
does not have tattoos, right? <laughs> uh, he have, he have only one like this. <laughs> See you, bro. bro. <laughs> that dude has a twin brother, so every time I've been seeing him or his brother, he I just thought twin? it. Yeah, the one we saw surfing and I posted him was not what? him. No, not him. <laughs> I swear that was okay, him, but okay. I guess it wasn't. But he said his brother only has. How are you gonna have twins and have the same tattoos as well? But he has two turtles. I want a turtle right there, dude. I should copy him. Get a turtle right there. Or no, not this side. This side needs to stay blank. Oh, okay, okay. No, I'm just playing. I need to finish what I started, though, dude. I got this whole side I gotta yes. do. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no turtle right there. I don't know where. I think right here, like Joseph. Or right here on but the like inside. But like you don't have like experience. Uh, look at the beach, oh, Bobby. Oh, man. Where else in the Philippines should we go? Is there any other places around here y'all want to see? Or should we're going to Bali next, Nepal, maybe Cambodia, Malaysia? Like, dude, I'm excited to explore some new countries, dude. Now that I got a little partner to come with me and my sister coming soon. So I'm excited. I'm just going to keep bettering myself, though, while I'm still here in the Philippines at Paradise. Just keep working on myself because what's next is going to be take me to the top man it's then south america's after those countries so i got a lot of traveling coming up so just make the most of the moment now i do not like this guy right here bro he gives me bad energy you got your neighborhood pharmacy right there he's got everything you need right at our place in the middle of nowhere hey no. <laughs> Hello, hello. Uh, that's our daughter's birthday. Which one? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Cheers. 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 Don't worry. Be happy, man. That's all there is to do here. These people are not depressed. I got a lot of hate on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, go follow and comment on my posts so we can outweigh. Because Instagram is heavy with negative comments. Like, that's how people go viral. It's because, it's like, ah, it's weird on Instagram. But I need y'all to be have my back. But basically, I said I don't see how this is a third world country. This is amazing. Everybody's happy. The people are amazing. And everybody's like, oh, it's so poor. Obviously, it's poor. But these people are very, very happy. And they're very grateful. And they're very, like, enjoy their life. There's no depression. No anxiety. No worrying about this or that. Like, and yeah, some people have it a lot worse in the Philippines, and I understand that. And I don't, I don't, I don't understand how they live and how what they have to go through. But like a big chunk of people are still poor, but they're very, very, very happy for what they do have. And like they, they they don't they don't get depressed, man. Like they just um, they just live, and this life is what it is, and they accept it, and they enjoy it, and make the most of it, and it's really inspiring me to like to live the same and to follow in their footsteps and i get to inspire y'all back home and realize that experiences are greater than money and you can never buy these memories that i'm making you literally have to go make them yourself so you can always make more money you cannot be in the moment now living in on in the philippines or any any of these countries i'm about to tell me where y'all want me to go next in asia so I want to go to like Cambodia, Nepal. I need to go to Nepal soon though. Sri Lanka. I got a model in Sri Lanka. There, Australian model. I think I need to go see her. Um, I got a lot of different fun options, man. Um, and Karen's down to go to any of them with me. So I'll have a partner. And she wants to experience more of Asia before. I need to know places that are not in the rainy season coming up. 
Like, Thailand is not the move right now. I told her she was planning on going there, but it's not the move yet. So, we plan on going to Colombia after all of this Asian adventure. So, where next? Where first? I'm thinking Nepal before it gets too cold. We need to hurry up and make that call. Places that are still cheap, though. Sri Lanka's cheap. Uh, Malaysia, Cambodia are on the list. Um, Indonesia, I guess, is next. I'm going to do some doomies with Karen at Gilly T. Like, tell me what y'all want to see, man. Um, we're going to make it happen. I'm have a partner now to go with me and uh, y'all are enjoying her in the vlogs like today's video is one of the best ones in my opinion so i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you did and didn't like let me know how you're feeling about life if you have any questions i would love to answer them um, and god bless you man i'm uh, i'm grateful i'm happy my life is going how it is everything is everything's not on my timing but on god's timing and i just got to keep making the most of these opportunities that i'm getting man and thank you for supporting me thank you for being a part of this thank you for believing in me i'm not gonna let you down man this is only year number one this is gonna grow into some huge a legacy a van boys legacy that lives on forever man and i'm excited to start the legacy for y'all and everybody else in the world y'all are the first ever followers and supporters of the legacy it's gonna grow huge it's gonna be a trend and it's gonna be more than a trend it's gonna be a lifestyle and people are gonna aspire to be van boys when they get older and i can't wait to see that happen play i'm gonna be cheech and chong's age and I'm sitting here thinking of all the adventures i just did and i'm gonna just like cry watching these old videos man this is the first of history man we're making history thank y'all for believing in me and supporting me before the rest of the world man we're gonna do big things man we're gonna change the world we're gonna help fix tondo we're gonna do things that nobody has ever thought about doing and and the world's going to be a better place forever after because of it. We're going to start a trend to give back and help. Not no Mr. Beast. He, forget him. We're going to be the new and improved, better version. But we just got to keep making the most of each opportunity and making the most of each day and bettering myself so I can better. The, can I, help? I can help more people the more I help myself and keep bettering myself. I can help more people. So I got to keep having that mindset. And know that every workout, every vlog, every day is just another opportunity so I can get better and I can get more successful so I can give back and help others and really benefit, impact the world beyond my living. Like when I have my kids, kids are still going to know the legacy that I started. And that's why I'm doing it for the legacy and the, the change, the impact it can have on the world forever. And I, I don't. It doesn't matter about me, bro. One day I'm going to be gone, but what what am I left on this earth that actually matters? That's what I'm trying to do. So, thank you, man. God bless you, bro. You have a blade day. You're unstoppable. I'll show you how strong I am. Oh, let's go, bro. Van boys to the moon. Van boys till I die. I'm in the sky, baby. And van boys even after that. Van boys forever, bro. We're, this is it, bro. I can't wait till Tanner comes back. We're going to add more girls to the team. It's just going to be a family, man. And y'all were the first ones to witness it, bro. Cheers.